Wow. <laughs> well, that was a turd. <laughs> we got to redo that. But that was pretty cool. Intense? It was, it was intense. Uh, Hello, Silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for Silver Education, Acquisition, Entertainment. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. All right, Mrs. T, are you ready for this? I am ready. I am super excited. All right, first silver pour ever, and I'll tell you what, uh, you want to show everybody what the mold looks like? Yeah. Uh, take a look, it's right by your elbow there, and this will be your first view of it. I've got some scissors there for you. Okay. And uh, oh, don't break stuff. Oh. Uh, Mrs. T is here <laughs> in my man cave and the uh, coin cave, and uh, so for the first time, you'll be checking this out. I have these special made custom and let's see. All right, here it is. <laughs> I am super excited. Hope it came out good. Wow. Oh yeah. Look at that. All right, that. let me show the camera. Here you go. So, and so Monarch Butterfly. It's very um, important to our ecosystem. Um, very beautiful uh -huh. and you know, free. Uh -huh. And so, um, and it, they migrate thousands of miles on the wing, and uh, I've never seen anything like this anywhere uh, made. And so, this is a custom make, a custom um, graphite mold, and those are made with like graphite, like the same type of graphite that pencil lead is made out of. Um, but it's just super compressed and hard, and uh, you should get at least. I don't know, 25, 30 pours out of that thing. So well, we'll see. Maybe uh, I'll be happy with one <laughs> or two. <laughs> All right. We're going to go from uh, step by step by step from the very beginning of the process uh, all the way to the end. You're going to do your very first silver silver pour. And I'm going to be as hands off as possible. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, let's see if I can find it here. We're going to convert these ugly coins right here these in my opinion are uh, amongst the ugliest coins on the planet these are the philharmonic i don't know how such a beautiful country can make such an ugly coin but <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh, i might get some hate in the uh, comments for for that statement but you know a bunch of cluster of ugly instruments we're going to convert these uh, uh into uh, something really beautiful hasta la vista baby too. all right here we go we've got your crucible full of those uh, philharmonics okay. and yeah, you could put them in the top there right here yep and uh, see this little lip right here yes uh, you want this this way that way when you pull it out I've noticed it's okay. easier you don't have to turn it oh, okay. and uh, there you go we've got the two auto furnace just turn around this right here yep okay I've got a pre uh, loaded uh, with the uh, temperature that we need okay. and uh, I learned a trick from AJ Bain from AB Customs he's a famous silver pour artist he said let the temperature go above and past okay. the temperature that you're looking for yes. and I'll close that up also by the way okay. and then once it goes back down and settles down at the temperature then you're ready okay. all right now the waiting game begins as this uh, furnace warms okay. up all right, on the next up in just a minute. Okay. This is the moment of truth right here. This is the moment of truth. And I'm going to help you every step of the way, but okay. if this is going to be your silver pour, step over to so that uh, you're mm -hmm. in the zone of action there. Okay. Just, that's where you're going to be doing everything. Okay. All right, there's your graphite mold. When these come, okay. uh, they don't come ready to rock and roll. Uh, they come basically needing to be treated okay. so what you're going to do is you're going to treat that and what i mean by that is you're going to get all the moisture out of it sir yeah. okay. right. now i want you to take that and treat that put that flame on that little mold there and i'm going to okay. show the people how there's moisture in it do you notice yes. uh -huh. and it almost looks like it's sweating or something yes. like that and you've got to get that moisture out or else pouring hot molten silver into uh -huh. something with moisture will not be good. No. I think we're just about there. And mm -hmm. so what I'll do is 
I'll show the viewers what this molten silver looks like. Woo-wee! About 2,000 degrees. Uh, we're just about there. And are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. <laughs> so, okay. So I'm going to... Yeah, you're going to lift that up in just a moment. Okay. I'm going to come over here and guide you. Oh, my love. Okay, I think you can leave me alone. I got this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> here we go for real. Okay. Uh, open up that lid. And when you pour it, pour it very gently. So grab it like this? Uh-huh. Right in that. See how it has a groove? You right stick here. it right in the groove there. Uh, like there that? you go. Are you okay. in? All yeah. right. Now take it Ooh. just like you've seen me do. It's hot, though. I know it's hot. Okay, there you go. Ooh. Careful, careful, careful. Now tilt it to the side. Do you need a regrip? No. All right, let me see what you can do here. Now pull up, uh, now a little lower, a little lower, closer to the thing and center it. You're all the way on the side. This is hard. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Keep pouring. Two, uh, all right, <laughs> put, oh. it back, put it back, put it back, put it back in here. Yeah. All right, now you got the hang of it. Wow. <laughs> well, that was a turd. <laughs> we got to redo that. But that was pretty cool. Intense? It was, it was intense. All right, we stop talking about it. We got to fix this now. All right, so this is what Mrs. T poured. Um, and obviously, at the first try, it's going to take a little practice. And um, i tell you what, let's see. You can see the butterfly. It's going to be beautiful once she gets the pour right. But for right now, uh, we'll just cool this down and then throw it in the, uh, the furnace later. That'll be a redo. Yeah. Take right, two. two. Now, you, every time, it gets just a little bit easier. And, all right, pull it out. Now, timing is everything. You got to get down in there and get yourself pouring before this starts cooling down. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Pull up, pull up. Oh, yeah. All righty. I could see that satisfaction on your face wow, that you feel yeah. better about that one. All right, now close your lid so you okay. keep that so uh, warming like up. That. What about a, a, push a, that a, in. Push. Uh, there you go. Uh, okay. Now, all right. Now, you got the silver warm, uh, warming up over there. Yeah. Now flip that over. Like this? Yeah. Turn it over. Okay. Uh-huh. And just let it fall out. There you go. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's going to be gorgeous. Now put that inside, inside that here. water there. To, let's quench it. Okay. All right. There you go. You got it? Everybody loves this sound. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. That is pretty cool. <laughs> All right. That now, cool. why don't you pull it out? Let's see what it looks like. Okay. And we'll show everybody. <laughs> you could have pulled it with your fingers. It's not hot anymore. I don't want to. I don't know. Okay, okay. Put it down. Let me wow. see. Now, it's just a little bit warm. Yeah. All right. So take two was much better than take one. And uh, once this is yeah. toned up and finished, it's going to look really, really good. But you're getting better. Uh, you ready to do a third one? Sure. <laughs> okay. Ready? Ta taunt me. All right. Well, it is kind of like muscle memory. Uh, and now that you've opened that, time is of the essence yes. of getting it. As it's, it's actively cooling down right now as you work with it yes. and there you go let's see what you can do here oh Ooh. not too shabby put it in close that furnace but you'll get the hang of it here you go Ooh. i love that sound <laughs> it's like uh satisfying yeah it is like isn't i it? did something today <laughs> You know, it just, it just takes practice. Yeah, it sure yeah. does. Well, I'm proud of myself. Okay, let me try. Let me try. You might be one of the only women in the whole world doing this right now. This is better. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My new hobby. Yeah. 
<laughs> like I said, how many w women on the planet are doing this right now at this very moment? I don't know. Probably not many. <laughs> no. <laughs> Try to make it a nice, smooth, consistent pour okay. as opposed to a herky-jerky. Sure. Oh, nice. You're getting better and better. Yeah, I am. I'm feeling the, the flow of the silver. If that even is a thing. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. Wow. Man, oh, best one yet, Mrs. T. Woo, woo. <laughs> All yeah, right, buddy. give everybody that quench. Cut silver. <laughs> wow. And mm -hmm. Wow. You're becoming some kind of professional here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, if you don't hesitate, if I don't hesitate, yeah. it just makes a huge difference. Yeah, hesitating really throws you off. Yeah, it's like and you just gotta go. the silver starts cooling as you hesitate, and yep. it goofs it up. Look at that. So, yeah, we've got our little collection there. One, two, three, four, yeah, in order. We're gonna choose from those, like which ones are the good ones, Yep. and which ones get remelted. Uh, you know, the other thing is that uh, I'm kind of picky, yes. and I try to, uh, you know, if I'm going to sell these at an auction or something like that, I don't want to, you know, tr sell a product that I'm not personally happy with. So uh, you, th the pieces will speak to you, and you'll know which ones are the keepers, which ones get thrown back, mm -hmm. and we'll go from there. Yeah. All right, wow, what an experience. Super, super cool. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Okay, so here we are back in the old uh, coin cave, my little workspace here. And uh, now that you've got them poured, that's a fun part of the whole process. But another part of the process mm -hmm. is finishing them. Now I have them in order from the very top one. It was the very first one you did. Yeah. And it came out uh, not so hot. Right. I don't know, Mrs. T, you want to throw that one back and remelt it or yeah. just keep it for old time's sake? I don't know. I don't know. Let me just put it off to the side. All right, side. Well, off to the that's side. That's number one. That's number, well. The prototype, right? It, well, or we're one. not going to really call this, we're going to call this the mess up. Okay. The first one you're actually going to finish, I think, is this one. This was uh, the second one you poured. Yeah. We'll call this the prototype. Okay. And... Um, you know, most likely this guy will go back in the furnace. Okay. And that'll be the first real pour that we keep. Okay. Uh, and then... That one got kind of... It's kind of... I mean, it's still salvageable. I, yeah. You might be able to do something with it. Okay. Let's see. Not too much work to do on the back side. So let's keep these in order. Uh -huh. And that one... Uh, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Looks keep, pretty good. I think so, too. This one was that big overpour. Yeah. I, if you can we take off that overpour or, or you know there's i have a process to do that but if not we can i could kind of show you we'll kind of think about that one this one i don't know it's got some character that's yeah. for sure the butterfly came out very well defined yeah you know you did better than i actually thought uh, <laughs> <laughs> well gee thanks <laughs> uh, i don't know this one came out real heavy yeah and a uh, nice round uh, yeah yeah yeah, wow, you did way better than I thought. This was the last one. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, this one, I honestly, I think the wing kind of got deformed there. Yeah. So I think we'll put this in this category over okay. here. Okay. And I'm really surprised that you got so many good ones out of the bunch, to be honest with you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Just keep going around. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> it's nice to see you doing the work there. Yeah, I'm really getting into this. Now you're yeah. filing. Now I'm filing. A lot, a lot of work. Yeah, uh, you know, more than meets the eye. Oh, you know, yes. If somebody sees a silver piece, they have no idea how much effort went into it. Yeah, lots of effort. All right, Mrs. T, take those two pieces. And you're going to toss them in these little cans here. Here. I'll one put here. the lid one in. Uh, yeah, Just one drop in. it in? Drop it in. Okay. And it's got, uh, a, basically, we're going to polish this up. Okay. Uh, I'll show you how to do it. Okay. So what does it have in there? Well, it has a little uh, medium 
that will, uh, as this can is turning and turning and turning, will rub against it. Okay. And it'll shine it up along with uh, this solution right here. Uh, it'll get it nice and shiny. Okay. Uh, one of these uh, will probably keep shiny. The other we will uh, tone up and uh, make it look pretty uh, with a nice tone. Okay, sounds good. All right, turn that sucker on and let's okay, go. Okay, here we go. Let's go eat lunch. We're going to let this go for a while. Okay, so that just stays there. Yep, uh, we'll give it about eh, 20 minutes or so. All right. And uh, when they come out, it'll be nice and shiny. We'll show everybody. Okay, sounds good. All right, so we're back <laughs> after our, the pour, and now we're um, going to do the next part of this, right? Yep, and there's uh, quite a few steps. My suggestion would be to, after we stamp them, uh, to tone one of them okay. and kind of see, you know, the difference and mm -hmm. the whole process and you get the whole education here. <laughs> yeah, one step at a time. All right, let's weigh them. I'm curious to know what they weigh. Okay. So there's a scale right there. Okay, so let's the first that. one. Oh, you got to turn the scale on first, honey. All right, let okay. it zero out. All right. All right, first one. All right, what 2. is 2.465. All right, so when you stamp it, it'll be 2.4. Okay. You always round down. You never round, round up. up. Okay. That way, you'd rather give somebody more silver than then, it's stamped on okay. there. Whoa. That's not bad, Mrs. C. Not bad at all. <laughs> and, uh, Right here. Do you think you could hold it and, and hammer it at the same time? I think so. Yep, two. Uh -huh. All right. I've always found that one, one good strike, strike is better is than trying two. to tappy tappy with it. Oh. There you go. All right. Decision time now. Uh, if I were you, I would okay. uh, keep the first one this original. One. Yes. And that's basically you know, your first one ever, mm -hmm. and just put that one down for now. Okay. Now you know what we're going to do with that one. Okay. Let's tone this one. Okay. And see how it really pops with the color, or maybe it won't look that great. I don't know. Okay. Either way, we'll find out in just a little while. Sounds Next great. lesson is uh, artificial toning. We're going to use something called uh, liver of sulfur. This is some stinky stuff right here. And uh, we're gonna use this and I'll show you how. Okay. Just one little drop, doesn't take much. Okay. I, uh, yeah, that's yeah. probably good enough. Okay. All right, so, uh, use the end of that. This? Yep. Okay, that mix brush, it. Just swirl it around. Okay. All right, there we go. And uh, all right, the and one then... that you're gonna do is number two, correct? Correct, all yes. Right. All right, one. put it in there. Here? Yep. You can okay. take, you don't have to swirl anymore. You're good on okay. that. Okay. Now, what'll happen is it will uh, slowly start changing colors. I you see might, it already. You see it already? Mm -hmm. And uh, this, basically, it's a chemical reaction going on right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. And your butterfly is it's transforming. Changing. Yeah, look at that. Uh, yeah, wow. it doesn't take long. Uh, I've noticed look that at side there. the hotter the water, nice. the faster right. it goes. The reaction. Mm -hmm. And uh, so in a moment, you're going to take it out of there. Okay. And uh, dump it in that uh, clean, clean water there. Okay. Um, just, I would say give it another second or two. Okay. It's turning some pretty blues, though. Yeah. You could turn it over, see what the other side looks like. Yeah, okay. look how pretty. Uh -huh. Okay, take it out now. Uh, turn it back over. Mm -hmm. All right, you like wow. that color? Are yeah, you that's... pleased with that? Yep, I like it. Okay, take it out and douse it. All right, that will slow down that chemical reaction. Yeah. Oh, look how uh, pretty. And what do you think of that smell, huh? Oh, that smells horrible. <laughs> like rotten Just eggs. Just trying to hold my breath. So, here's an update. You've got the pretty colors. But, you know, people want to see the silver and not just that color. So what you're going to do is you are going to use a, a bit of steel wool okay. to uh, rub that a lot of that color off mm -hmm. and uh, make that, especially the high points, look really nice. So to your right over there, there's yes. some steel wool. Yep. Okay. And take, take that with your fingers and usually just like a corner of it. Mm -hmm. I rub in a circular motion and you're going to rub off and you got to use right a little force. Like right here? Uh-huh. There you go. Rub and rub and rub. 
what's going to do is on the flat points, it's going to take off that color. Okay. And go to keep moving it. Twist the coin. Yep, like that. Uh -huh. I, I go clockwise like that. And just try to do it as evenly as possible. Uh-huh. And you're going to take off the color from the flat parts. And in the little crevices, oh, the color will I stay. See what you're saying. Keep spinning it around. Yes. And But that butterfly will really oh, come to yeah. life as you uh, work it. So, okay. uh, Next step, uh, to your right, mm -hmm. there is a little baking soda and water bath. Okay. Uh, dip that guy in there and make sure it gets all covered up. Okay. That is going to stop the chemical reaction between the silver and that liver of sulfur. Okay. And basically neutralize it. Okay. And so that way the tone is pretty much locked in. Yes. If you didn't do that, the tone would just kind of wear away over time. But now... Yeah. Adapt. You're kind of locking that in. And then from there, we just polish it up and show it off. So let's get ready to do that. Okay. Okay, Mrs. T. All you, right. <laughs> you just completed your first ever silver pour. And uh, let's take a look here. Take a look. At your uh, results. Let's see. You've got some pretty good lighting here. Uh, this one is your number one. Yes. There it is. That's my number one. Super uh -huh. shiny. <laughs> Number one. Uh-huh, it's pretty. It is pretty. It's a nice custom pour. And then... This one's got some crazy color in yeah, it, too. Yeah, it's beautiful. You know, you try to do the colors, and you never quite know how it's going to come out. Yeah. And every time, it's a little bit of a surprise. But you got some turquoise, a little bit of purple in there. Yes. Uh, this one is number two. Two. And let's let's leave them like that. And hey, what'd you think of the whole process? Wow, uh, it's not easy, um, <laughs> but it's exhilarating and it is so much fun. Uh -huh. um, the creative side comes out in uh -huh. a person that pours. Uh -huh. So um, the work is really, really um, special uh -huh. because you know you don't ever know what you're gonna get. Yeah. And I think it's just um, super cool that I was able to have an opportunity to do this. Yeah. So thank you, T. Oh, my for, pleasure, my uh, dear. Everything and for your help yeah. and your um, support. Because I wouldn't have never done it if you wouldn't have said, "Yeah, why don't you just go ahead and pour?" Oh, you know so what? It's pretty cool. You've got a strong mm -hmm. science background, yes. so it's kind of a combination between science and art uh, put into one. Yes. And uh, I think for your first time. You did a really great job. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of myself too. So this is uh -oh. awesome. Uh, and uh oh, the dog sees something in the backyard over there. I guess it's time to go. We've got a few to uh, throw back in the furnace, yes. and you have a few more to complete. So yes, so <laughs> uh, I'll be working. Yeah, we'll uh, throw uh, maybe two or three of these on our auction on Saturday night, maybe even on the whatnot uh, next week as well. So. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank Mrs. You. T. Thank you. And goodbye. Thank you.